Yo, what is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. And finally, we have some more content to make. The new Mustang Dark Horse is getting delivered today. And uh, really, it should be in the next couple of minutes here. So hopefully I'll be able to show that to you guys here soon. Fingers crossed everything goes as planned. But um, I did go a different route with the Dark Horse. If you watched the last video where I kind of talked about my uh, process or my thought process in ordering the Dark Horse and, and all that stuff. But I went a different route, so I wanted to talk a little bit about that before while we have a couple minutes until the dark horse gets here. Now, I know if you watched the last video that I made, basically what I ended up doing was putting in an order for a dark horse completely the way that I wanted it, handling pack, all these different things, right? But unfortunately, the dealer reached back out to me and let me know that they weren't delivering any handling pack cars. So that was something that was gonna extremely delay the process. Um, so what I was waiting on is essentially the sale of the M2. Well, I did sell the M2 uh, like two weeks ago. I got 58K for it, which I thought was pretty reasonable given the circumstances and given the car accident that it was in and, and all those things, right? So I was happy with the 58,000 for that car. Um, and essentially I just, after the, the M2 sold, I just went and started looking for uh, dark horses that are kind of around nationwide. And I found one in Wyoming. It's a little bit different of a spec than what I had intended on. But since, since I ordered a car and I had to pull the track pack or the handling pack off of the car, I ended up just looking for a car without the handling pack because I plan on changing a lot of the things that are included in that handling pack as well, just given the nature of how I like to mod cars and things like that. So I ended up finding a dark horse out in Wyoming. So it's being shipped from Wyoming to Tucson here today. It's actually getting delivered right to the shop. So super excited for that. And uh, yeah, the next clip will be the car getting unloaded off of the trailer. <laughs> guys so here she is and oh my god this thing is so crazy in person and uh just my initial impressions of it are pretty wild we got some uh some monster truck fitment like we did when we first got the uh the m2 but that'll get sorted soon i already got springs for it but this interior man it's just so nice So obviously we got the Tremec six speed, we got the Recaro buckets, and I ended up going with Shadow Black uh, as far as the paint goes because we have a couple other dark horses here in town that are the Blue Ember. I think that that's probably the best color on the car, but I just wanted to, to kind of stand out and it kind of matches uh, the truck over there. So kind of going with the, uh, the all black theme on this, but since it was just transported from Wyoming in an enclosed trailer, the car is super dirty. So I pulled it right into the wash bay here. So what we're gonna do now is go ahead and, uh, and get the first wash on this. And uh, after we wash it, kind of see how the quality of the paint is. If we're gonna have to do a bunch of paint correction on it, which likely we are just knowing how these uh the factory paint is on a lot of these cars and i don't know if the dealership probably washed it before they shipped it out so there's probably some scratches little light scratches in the paint that we got to get taken care of before we ceramic coat it but we'll do it all here at the shop and i'll make all that content for you guys to follow along as well but plans for this car so like i mentioned uh, a few minutes ago we have uh Stita, the dual rate springs or the progressive springs for the car I'm working on designing some wheels right now with a local company. Um, so we have that. We have adjustable camber plates. I have an H-pipe uh, that should be here in a couple of days. A bunch of little mods that we're going to be bringing here to the channel. And of course, it's going to be all DIY. Or we're going to do as much of the installs as we can ourselves. And then uh, just kind of go from there. 
but yeah, let's get into getting this thing all cleaned up. All right guys, so what we're going to be washing the dark horse with, a couple of different things in here in this pump sprayer, or really it's a foamer. Uh, we have brake buster, not diluted. Uh, then for washing, we're gonna do a pre-rinse with Coach Kemi Super Foam. Pre-rinse, let that dwell for a little bit. Hopefully take off any kind of things that maybe protection or anything like that that the dealership put on the car. Uh, and then we'll follow up that with SoCal Wax Ceramic Bubble Bath is SiO2 infused. So it gives some ceramic coating type properties. Uh, we'll rinse that off, go in for a contact wash and then follow through with the Gion wet coat to give us a little bit of protection until we're able to paint correct and ceramic coat this beast. Let's jump into it. have gone ahead and done the pre-rinse using the Coach Kemi Super Foam. By the way, if you live in Tucson and uh, maybe want to try some of the products I'm using in this video or want to come wash your car here yourself, definitely come down 4011 East Columbia Street, Suite 121. But next, we got that foam cannon all set up. We're about to go ahead, foam it down again and get in for the contact wash. Let's get to it. All right, guys, so pulled her into the showroom here and uh, she's all cleaned up. So I was kind of going around the car, just looking at the body panels, um, things like the, the body panel gaps and things like that. And for the most part, it looks really good. There's gonna be some work that we have to do as far as the paint correction goes. Uh, if you guys wanna see that content, definitely let me know down below in the comment section, cause that's something that we're going to be doing here at the shop. So yeah, let me know if that's something that you guys would want to see and kind of a little bit more into that process. But re what really gets me about the, uh, the dark horse is just the interior. It's like, it's insanely nice. And I thought that, uh, you know, that the interior of the M2 was something that I was going to really miss. But man, this really takes it to another level with the uh, with the Recaro buckets. I didn't have the the bucket seats in the M2, but man, this thing is absolutely insane. I really really love it. So let's talk mods about this car. What we're going to be doing, kind of like what the plan is with it. Um, so a couple things right off the bat. Uh, I do have new springs for it, so we can kind of address that ride height. But I checked it today just because I felt like it was super tall in the front. Um, now it's a little bit better. But what happened is they left the shipping blocks in the springs. Um, they didn't take them out when they PDI'd the car. Uh, clearly, they didn't PDI, PDI the car very well at all. So I got those taken out today. Uh, definitely stay tuned for a full review of the car. Like I said, I just got it today. We just got it washed, cleaned up. And uh, we definitely have a ton of content coming as it pertains to the dark horse. All right guys, that is going to be the video for today of us receiving the brand new 2024 Mustang dark horse. I'm in love with it. And uh, I think that I'm probably gonna like it better than the M2. It's just something a lot different. 
Uh, but for, with that being said, I know there's probably gonna be a ton of comments like downgrade, blah, blah, blah. Uh, but at the end of the day, if you haven't driven both cars, you really can't come to a conclusion because this thing is absolutely crazy and uh, it just handles really well. I've only driven it a couple miles. So like I said, stay tuned for the full review, but that is going to do it for us today. In this video, definitely see you on the next one.